from Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box. If you want to skip ahead, please remember that time is fluid. And what this means is this could resonate for you as a past, a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs, traditional messages, and guidance. I'll be reading your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom, but as this is a general reading, it can be flipped or reversed. Six of Cups with the King of Cups, the Lovers, and the Nine of Pentacles under the deck, the full Aries energy. Okay, so... There's somebody that you really want to reconnect with and build something with. And again, take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your message, don't try to force it to fit, okay? And you'll know. It's like cramming, you know, a puzzle piece clearly into the wrong spot. It's like no matter how you flip it and turn it, no matter how you twist it, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't belong there. You'll know that. Internally, it'll feel like that. If this is your message, it just falls into place. This is about wanting to reconnect with someone from the past that you're very much still in love with. You feel like this is your soulmate, your divine counterpart, the person you're supposed to be with. Um, you want to build with this person. I think in this separation or in this time apart, you know, you have really been building yourself up. You know, really trying to focus on your stability, your success, what makes you happy. You know, your dreams, your goals, your ambitions. Now, you may have children with this person for some of you, or you feel this very strong like past life connection or pull to this person, like the spiritual tie, this contract with each other. The Six of Cups, you know, it, it talks about like fond memories as well. So you may be reminiscing quite a lot about the past with this person, you know, the good times that you guys had together. Now, you could be strongly dealing with a water sign, okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, or a Gemini. We also have a little bit of Earth here. But this person, male or female, doesn't matter. The energy, the king of cups, is you feeling quite emotional. But being very much in control of those emotions. Truly thinking about what it is that you want long term and for the future. Um, this is really neat, craving, desiring a really stable, emotionally mature energy. You know, somebody who, you know, can complete you, fulfill you, you know, nurture, heal, protect, you know, it's... An energy that you can trust. You can feel safe with this King of Cups. You know, you can open your heart to this kind of in energy. You can tell them all your deepest fears, insecurities, hopes, dreams with no fear of judgment. You know, there's someone who just understands you. It's a mutual energy. That's what you're hoping for. The way that you connect with this person is unlike anything that you've experienced in the past. And, and you identify this connection as being very spiritual, very deep, very healing in a way. And you're craving this reconnection with this person. Now, there's a strong physical connection with this person. It's like this person lifts you up and you lift them up. And it's all about, you know, healing. Now, some of you, um, I'm, depending on what happened in the past, I mean, it's going to be different for all of you. But for the Aquarius that I'm, that I'm connecting with right now, I do feel like this person... You've never really forgotten about them, and they've never really forgotten about you. No matter how much time, distance, or space has been there, if it's been days, if it's been months, if it's been years, okay? This is the energy of just feeling so complete when you're with each other, so at home, so comfortable, like a belonging energy. Now, you're standing in a, in a really strong energy as yourself. I mean, with the Nine of Pentacles... It's independent, confident, successful, ambitious, you know, those goals, dreams, but there's some kind of risk involved to this. Like you're weighing the pros and cons, like you're unsure, like if you can make this happen for whatever reason, you're maybe waiting for this person to possibly come towards you. You could be afraid of rejection from this person if you reach out to them first or, you know, be just fearful of taking this leap of faith. It's like you want this, you feel it in your very soul and your core. You feel this strong pull to this person. You're waiting for divine timing to intervene here, to come together, for it to be the right time to move forward. Trying to be patient, really building yourself up in the meantime. But again, it's kind of like, I don't want to lose this. I can't lose this. We can't lose each other. Not again. And again, some of these energies can be reversed. Let's look at your person's energy. 
Let's look at their energy. The world. They could be at a distance from you, okay? They could have, like, moved. They could have gotten married. The fool yet again. I feel you could definitely could strongly be dealing with an Aries or an Earth sign. We have a little water fire here as well, but it could be any sign. This person, it's like they went to pursue something or do something. Um, they could have like traveled, taken a job offer. They could have connected with someone. This, I also kind of get like an energy like they could have um, gotten some kind of position uh, where they're like. They're seeing the public eye. People look up to them. Um, they seek them out for guidance, advice, that kind of thing. Taurus energy here. But whatever this person is doing, it's not fulfilling them and it's not making them happy. And they want to come towards you. They're waiting for that reconnection energy. This person, they think about you, they think about the situation, they think about reopening this door, starting this chapter again, giving us another chance, okay? The world is a fresh start. It's new opportunities. Doors opening. They feel a very strong spiritual tie to you. Now, the hair font can symbolize marriage. Um, it can symbolize uh, wisdom, lessons, karmic energy. It can also symbolize spiritual marriage, spiritual ties. And they do feel that with you. They may even desire marriage here. Whatever they, whatever the disconnect was caused by here, and it's going to be different for all of you, it's a huge burden for this person. They want to come back towards you, but they feel like they may have quite a lot of weight on their shoulders right now. They may feel like they may not have enough to offer you, especially if they are tied up into some kind of karmic situation. But they are going to come back towards you, and that is their intention. They may kind of do this very unexpectedly. It's kind of like... They think about the new opportunities. They're trying to learn and grow spiritually, but they have a lot on their plates. So they may kind of back check, kind of go back and forth on their decisions, their plans. But it's like this person gets this light bulb moment of, oh, and they immediately shift gears. They don't give it too much thought. It's kind of like a really spontaneous energy. And the way that I feel like this person reconnects with you is kind of like, yeah, they try to be very nonchalant, right? It's kind of like, Instead of being like, hey, how have you been? I heard you were doing this now. It's kind of like, hey, what's up? Oh, oh, you're, you're, you're single still? Oh, you know you know what I mean? Like that's kind of like, kind of like really takes you by surprise. This person's clearly not prepared with the conversation. Um, if you're currently in contact with this person, it may just, the communication may just take like a really dramatic uh, or I want to say like an adventurous or risky um, shift, transition. Like it may just sporadically change into something uh they may try to like heat things up with you because i definitely i definitely do sense like a lot of physical tension like a lot of uh, sexual chemistry with this person a clear desire for each other let's get a clarifying card for these yeah there's news coming in this person's going to reach out to you they could strongly be a fire sign aries Leo, sagittarius or have that strongly in their chart. I had Aries come through quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> this person's going to reach out to you. They've been thinking about you just as much as you've been thinking about them. It's going to excite you. This is good news. This doesn't feel like a bad ex. It may feel like someone that you know, you've know you kind of wanted to get things off the ground with for a long time. And you do feel a spiritual tie to them. Strong Aries energy. This person's... I feel like you see them as you know really mastering their emotions. Maybe after a very difficult period of time. Learning a lot, growing a lot. This person could be a boss, business owner, uh, father, you know, someone that people look up to, respect. Someone with like wisdom or uh, a lot of like life experience. It could be older. There's emotions here. They're going to start small. And I kind of get like an energy of not that they're not... Not that they're not skilled in like flirting or anything like that, but I kind of get like a you make them nervous kind of energy. Like that, that that tension is there and it's like they can't quite get a handle on their what they want to say or how they want to say it. And it's kind of like they may kind of come off a little bit clumsy or a little bit, you know, shy because it's kind of like they're they're nervous to what I mean, you're standing here looking really good. I mean, this person's very attracted to you. They they're seeing all the success, all this growth around you. They may feel like, you know, 
just you make them you make your you got them sweating it a little bit okay they definitely don't want to mess this up the queen of swords i feel like you've taken a lot of time to really think about what is it you truly want air energy this person definitely has thought about what is it that they want nine of cups it's about wish fulfillment what's going to complete that picture for them what's this opportunity how to make that happen this person's kind of stubborn they don't it's like they're coming in a little bit shy. They may start off that way and things may heat up kind of a passionate way. But I feel like this person, they, how do I want to say? It's like they, they, they're they very focused on what they want. They're not going to give up easily on this. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they definitely want stability. They think a lot about commitment. They may have regretted not committing in the past. So I kind of feel like there was some kind of disconnect here in some way. This person could be going through a divorce or like a job ending transition, a major move, some kind of major life event. Could also, I want to say for some of you, it could even be like the loss of someone and it's kind of like triggered something spontaneously for them. It's like, you know what? No, I can't keep living my life with the what ifs or what could have been. It's like, I have to just, it's like that, that mindset immediately shifts from being nervous and unsure to I've got to go forward with this. I can't keep holding back. I can't lose this opportunity again. Yeah, they're coming in cancer energy. Under the deck, they missed an opportunity in the past because they spent too much time being indecisive about making an offer to you and being serious, and now they want to do that. They're coming in. Could be. I feel like this is very unexpected. It's like it really catches you by surprise. But I feel like you've been feeling this person anyway. Maybe dreaming about them or remembering certain things, uh, being like your memories being triggered. Maybe seeing a lot of synchronicities, signs, songs. Things like hearing this person's name or seeing people that look similar to them and just thinking about certain things. They're doing the same thing. Romance and no need to worry. This person still feels the same way. No matter how much time has passed here, this connection is incredibly intense. It definitely feels like a very strong soulmate, maybe even twin flame for some of you. That's not going to be for all of you. But there's romance here. There's passion, a want to rekindle something here. You know, I feel like you've been thinking a lot about this person. They've been thinking a lot about you. They're coming in very unexpectedly. It's like something happens to this person and they completely shift and realize they can't just keep living life in the, you know, in the element of regret. It's like I have to make some kind of major transition here so that I can truly be happy because I see now what it is that I truly want. So really beautiful reading for you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed it i want to thank you guys so much for your support when you guys like share subscribe um, that truly helps the channel so much um thank you for donating to the channel um, and for joining the channel memberships if you guys didn't know i have created a monthly membership here it is only one dollar and 99 cents per month and that'll give you access to an exclusive weekly twin flame reading for the collective i've been uploading those on sundays information to join us in the description box again thank you so much i am wishing you all strength and many blessings bye bye